uh, breeding native swallow to North America. They're migratory, and a bunch of them returned here just about a month ago, and some of those might have flown as far as Brazil to return to their same home year to year. They're fascinating birds. They're um, able to live nearby houses. Um, we can actually see the impact of, of what we're doing. If we think about uh, their distribution and numbers uh, across the continent, um, in Canada they're not necessarily listed on the endangered species list. They don't need a lot of help, but they're considered sensitive because they almost are totally reliant on uh, nesting boxes that humans provide. Before there were purple martin houses, martins nested in old woodpecker holes and they would often nest just one pair at a time, not in communities. They've become a part of our world and we've become a part of their world. If you want to find out more about Purple Martins, I suggest you go visit uh, the Camrose Wildlife Stewardship Society. They'll be able to introduce you to some amazing Purple Martin landlords in Camrose and uh, they'll be able to help you attract these purple martins. If you want to set up a purple martin house, um, these birds have specific habitat requirements, such as compartment size and cleanliness. So check out the Purple Martin Conservation Association's website and they'll be able to give you more details.